England nil, Hungary four. Hello and welcome to What the Football. We are back with yet another video. Uh, I've had an impromptu video today. Um, Gav Southgate version two, uh, numero two, numero number two. Um, I did a video about Gav Southgate about a week ago, and this is the uh, the long-awaited week sequel. Um, and the reason why I did that is that's what the uh, the Roman generals, um, the Roman emperors used to do uh, when they didn't like what they saw. Uh, or as the uh, the Real Madrid fans only go, they always get the white hanky, don't they? Um, it's, not, it's, not, it's not as bad as people... Oh, actually, is it as bad as people make out? I suppose that is the, the question I'm really asking. Um, we've just lost 4-0 at home to Hungary. Like, their name literally is... Like, it li literally isn't it? it? It's a different spelling, but it's pretty much like it's, uh, it's another word for starving. And that's what we are in front of goal at the moment, starving. Uh, and in terms of performances as well, um, it's a synonym, really, for starving. And as an England fan, um, I'm not too worried yet, but maybe I should be worried. This is like one of those games where, as a Manchester United fan, we lost 6-1 at home to Tottenham Hotspur, and we had a good season, we finished second, a, a good season. But there are always those moments before a manager gets sacked where actually, you know what, that was the moment where it's like, you know what, maybe you could have got rid of him then. Liverpool, a example of Liverpool, um, for Brendan Rodgers, was when they lost six on to Stoke. They kept him in the job for another two or three months and they lost the home three nil to West Ham. That was the moment they should have sacked Brendan Rodgers, but they didn't. They persevered with him for another couple of months and they eventually got Jurgen Klopp in. Obviously a manager who was available. Now, there's not many managers that are available at the moment to replace Gal Southgate as manager. Should he need replacing? Obviously, we'll get into that in a second. Um, but there are those moments for every manager that does eventually get sacked where there's a moment where that was the moment we should have done it. And I think if Gal Southgate was to lose his job very soon, possibly after the World Cup, that could be the moment where people look, well, if you got rid of him, well, well, if you got rid of him then, that was that was like the time to get rid of him. Um now, in regards to um, people that could replace Gareth Southgate, there are actually a plethora of names that have been mentioned. Um, I've heard Wenger being mentioned, I've heard Mourinho being mentioned. Graham Potter's the one that people want because he's English, of course. I personally did it in the video. If you're going to get an international calibre manager, you get Rafa Benitez in because he knows he, cause he knows our game. Without playing football, and I'm not a big fan of his brand of football, but he gets, he gets trophies, doesn't he, Rafa? And I think with that, gr that, that group of players, he possibly would have done a much better job than Southgate did. Um, at the tournament last last year, he possibly could have won it. Um, listen, Gareth Southgate is not going to get sacked as England manager up until at least after the after the World Cup. And obviously, this one kind of goes goes along with my thing in regards to now's the moment to get rid of him. Personally, we're not going to get rid of him. We're not. Um, this was just a hint that maybe if we are going to get rid of Gareth Southgate, then that was possibly a moment we could have done it. But there's a moment when we could have done it, there's a moment where we do do it, but there's always a moment before when there's a hint that maybe it's starting to move towards that direction. Um, if we were to go out in the World Cup, to, at the group stage, he'll get the sack because that will be an embarrassment. Um, but if we were to go out to the, to the likes of Senegal in the second round, that could be a moment, depending on how we go out. If he goes out to the, to the, to the quarters or the semis, he's keeping his job, guys. There's, there's, there's no two ways about it because the FA will look at that and think, well... In the quarters, we could have got a Brazil or a France. I think looking at the fixtures, I don't, I don't I personally know if we're going to get a, a team of that calibre. And it's no shame losing to those teams, which for me personally is the wrong attitude. If we're going to be the best, if we're going to be the best, we have to beat the best. And if we don't be the best, then we failed. And we may be, remember, maybe if we've got expectations to be the best, then you've got to get rid of the manager and then go again. So. I mean, I think England have got potentially a good enough forward line and potentially everything around it to win the World Cup. I don't think we are going to win the World Cup. I hope we do win the World Cup. But I hope Gareth Southgate, right, goes up in the plinth or whatever where he's going to, gets the World Cup with Harry Kane, lifts it up with him and does that to the cameras and say, I fucking told you so. I don't normally use swear words on this, by the way, but I hope he does that because I really want him to succeed because he's a manager of someone that I support, as obviously as English. Uh, with a bit of Polish heritage, um, but I am an England fan, so I want him to prove me wrong. I'd, I'd, I'd never want a manager to get sacked until it gets to the point where it looks like he's obviously getting sacked. And the reason why I'm, why I'm doing this video is to put that question out there for you guys. 
I've given reasons why I think he could get sacked. I think I've given reasons why I don't think he will get sacked. But obviously, you guys can answer that if you want. Um, but like I said, he's not going to get the sack until potentially the World Cup, and then we can talk. If he does like mind-boggling decisions, like again putting Harry Kane back on corners like Roy Hodgson did, or he plays Maguire um, and Stones in a back two against France, and Tamore and Joe Gomez had a brilliant start to the season. For example, obviously there are examples. Now. There are signs with this England team that may be under this manager. We've we've gone as far as we we've gone as far as we can with this manager. And I'm trying to think of other examples where maybe Klinsmann at Germ Klinsmann with Germany, for example, is a good one. And then I think Joachim Lowe brought in a few more youngsters in and to make that team a little bit better around it. So I think Klinsmann when he was in charge had the likes of Schweinsteiger. And Lahm, who basically became the base of that uh, German side of the team. So maybe somebody who comes in um, after Southgate can get more young players and then we can start afresh. But there are some players that just for me just aren't good enough. Um, I personally, controversial opinion, hot take, don't get Calvin Phillips. I think Rice is better than him. He plays alongside Rice. I think Mount's better than him, a bit more, a bit be a bit, bit more advanced. But Bellingham's better than him, and Conor Gallagher's better than him. Now Calvin Phillips is going to get games for England because he's the most experienced um, out of the three. But Conor Gallagher has been playing Premier League football as long as Calvin Phillips has, because Conor Gallagher played for West Brom last season, played for Palace, and he's been playing top flight football. A lot longer than Calvin Phillips. Actually, more games because if you look at it, Phillips is injured for a lot of this season. Bellingham, for me, is a generational talent, and I think he'll he'll eventually be coming into the field. There's no doubt about it. But I just don't get this hype with Calvin Phillips. He just is for me a Jermaine Genius level player. I get a controversial. I know a lot of Man United fans that want Calvin Phillips. Why? He's 27 years of age. He's still playing for Leeds United. Like, if he's going to make a move to anybody, it would be like an Everton, or at the very, very best, the Spurs. He would not get into Manchester City's team, and he'd got not get into Liverpool's team. I think he's a good player, and but I don't, like, he got England's player of the year last year. I think Pickford, Maguire, and Kane, and Luke Shaw were all more deserving on it than, than Calvin Phillips, because Calvin Phillips was new to the England team, was still riding off, off the crest of the wave of this sweet Carolina football's coming home. It didn't come home eventually. We kind of given to him as some sort of like, oh, there you go, mate, yeah, you, uh, yeah, like, it, it's like the most, it's like most improved, like, oh, well done, you've done, you've done a good job, here's your award. I personally just don't get the hype around Calvin Phillips. They call him the Yorkshire Perlow. He's nowhere near Perlow's level. He's nowhere near Perlow's level. I know that's a little bit in jest and a little bit ironic, but there's a reason why Ray, Ray Perlow's called the Romford Pele. It's because he, he actually is. It's just a joke. Now, he's a good player, Calvin Phillips, but he's a squad player at best. How he keeps on getting chances for England, I have no idea. Yes, he had, yes, he had, a, good, he had a good Euros, but he had a good Euros playing in a system where we sat back and defended not a lot but it was more of a, a damage limitation kind of midfield we played two sixes basically with phillips maybe doing a bit more box to box work now is the time this is why i'm just talking about southgate's tactical decisions now is the time to play conor gallagher and Jude bellingham in more games now i know they both played today and i know we lost but we didn't have declan rice in midfield and that is a big that's a big thing for me so for me, it's got to be Rice, Gallagher, Bellingham. I think it's going to be three. Maybe Mount, if Mount picks his game up. Because I think Mount would deservedly drop today. Because I think Mount's been particularly great. Um, I'll probably do a video before the World Cup of what my ideal start level will be. So I'll move away from that. But obviously, the original question was Gareth Southgate. And obviously, that is relatable to Gareth Southgate. Because he's picking Calvin Phillips. Um, also, let's give credit to Hungary, by the way. Hungary came here with a game plan and won 4-0. Dogs are sending off, but they won 4-0. Give credit to them. Well done to them. I'm an England fan. I'm looking at it purely from an England point of view. I'll give them the credit. Well done.
not even sarcasm. Well done. But for England, where do we go from here? It's not worrying. But like I said, could we be looking back on this game in December and say, you know what? That's where the rough started. Or this whole Nations League, this is where the rough started. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. A bit of an impromptu video, like I said, but I think a lot of things need to be addressed. Um, if you like the video, obviously, give it a like. That'll do this channel a world of good. Subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. Have a wonderful night. Football is over for this season. Enjoy your summer.